Hey guys, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm today's video. I'm gonna show you how to turn into Jack O' Lantern. Well, not Jack O' Lantern, but a Jack O' Lantern skull inspired makeup. Um, so yeah, let's keep on watching. And first, uh, you wanna go ahead and prep your face and apply your foundation. However, you do so. I'm applying this pore minimizing serum on my face. I don't have a mirror. So. And I'm just gonna put it on. I got this from Ipsy and I love it. And what the heck is on my face? It's very cooling and I'm not entirely sure if it really does do anything to my pores, but I just love putting it on because it feels refreshing. Alright, you want to grab your beauty blender or your brush, whatever you use to apply your foundation. Um, the foundation that I'm using is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 120 Classic Ivory. And this is a dewy uh, foundation. So there's a matte and there's dewy. I like this one because it makes it look more luminous and glossy. Or sweaty, whatever. That's fine. I don't like to put I don't like full coverage foundation that's why I like this one because it's not it's not full coverage you could build it but it's still not full coverage it's more like a medium coverage and just go ahead and blow it away All right, and that's about it. That's how I do my foundation, guys. Uh, not nothing too crazy or whatever. Um, I'm just doing my face first, and then we're gonna go in with the whole shading of the face and everything. Uh, I'm gonna use my CoverGirl concealer. went ahead and did the outlines real quick off camera um nothing too crazy it's gonna be pretty simple easy more on the glamour side of uh not more of a horror type of makeup look um so yeah i just did two triangles on my eyes uh with a very light pencil um eyebrow pencil just because in case if i mess up or anything you could just smudge it away and it's fine i did little lines like that for the mouth across so first you do a line and then you do kind of like teeth and then the little skull thingy but yeah so you want to grab that you can just google an image or you know get creative i don't know just kind of think of a pumpkin you know and so i'm gonna go ahead and use my orange ugolad palette uh because it has all the beautiful it's dirty all the beautiful oranges in here and you want to grab a very small brush. This is a Jeffree Star JS12. It's like this. You don't have to use this brush, but it's the one I have. So, and then I'm gonna go in with. I'm going with this one. Okay, I'm going with that one right there. And then just go over the lines, the outlines you did with the orange very softly just like this oh my clip fell my second clip that i had my hair with fell now i'm just gonna go over all the lines it doesn't have to be perfect i just want to create that shadowing effect because you're gonna outline all the lines with a black uh gel liner eyeliner i'm gonna use an eyeliner not a gel just so it could stay but this is just to create sort of a shadowing effect and you want to do that to all the lines Alright, quickly, I'm just gonna finish that off camera and then going in with like a brighter, let's see if it focuses, a brighter orange right here with a fluffier brush, something like 
this. I'm just going to dust it over all of that to make it look more orangey. This is looking a little bit too, like, on the darker side, so I want it more brighter. Okay, I'll be all right, right. now that your entire face looks like this, you're getting somewhere. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go off and do my eyes. I'm going to just grab a fluffy brush like this. Uh, I'm going to go into this, this shade right here. I'm literally just going to pat that on the outer you want to get it like outside of the triangle thing that you got going on because this triangle is going to be filled in black so it doesn't really matter so i'm just going to shade like the outside make it look like an a cat eye look as if there's a makeup look underneath it something like that whoa focus <laughs> sorry why is my camera like blurry it's like you fine okay whatever so slow you also want to do a little bit of shading on the outside of the triangle so like from here and then kind of make it well i'm doing like a cat eye kind of look as you can see i'm dragging it in here out here but i also want to do a little bit of shading on that triangle so it doesn't look like it's just weirdly placed there Right, and then uh, grabbing the first brush this and then you want to I'm gonna go into uh, like a shimmery orange you can't really see it but it's very shimmery and I'm just gonna lightly put that on the inner corner because I still want some shine in here Ooh, I actually like this I'm actually gonna put that out here too I love this sparkly one. It's so cute. Now you can see it. I put it um from my brow bone down this triangle line and over here. Did that. So now you want to grab like a black eyeshadow. I'm just going to go into my Alien palette real quick because it's like the first one that's always there. I'm going into uh, black hole right here with going in with a very uh smaller brush this is a pencil brush this is a uh, from morphe it's a e36 just looks like this it's a little bit sticky because i was using like fake blood with this so it didn't really fully clean off i'm gonna go into the black and just put that and then just kind of lightly where you have your brown lines you're gonna go over those i'm gonna start on my nose And now I'm going in with this brush right here. Well, actually, no, not this one. Uh, this one, this is an e.l.f. contour brush, but I'm not going to use it for that. I'm going to go lightly in with the black. So it looks like this. I'm going to focus, like, it's, like, round and flat. And then uh, I'm just going to gently put some of that in there right here. So... You want to grab it uh, with the flat tip and then just kind of dab it around and with the uh, side you just want to blend it out. 
very softly. You don't have to use this brush, but you can use any brush. Just make sure you don't go in there like with a lot of product because you're going to ruin it and you're going to be upset. That's the cool thing about Halloween though, is that your makeup doesn't have to be perfect. It's Halloween, you're trying to look dead. With a small brush, I'm gonna get this one, the JS, what number were you? JS12, which is just a very small brush like this. And I'm gonna go into my orangey lab palette. Oh, oh no. I'm gonna grab a, like a dark brown, uh, orange, this brownish orange color right here. And then... Gently blend out the black with it. So mix it in with the black and blend it out. Yeah, going in with this one, I'm gonna dip into the black and then lightly Add some shading. I'm actually going to grab that other pencil, the smaller one. and grab some gel liner or face paint I'm gonna use face paint because um, I can't find my gel liner and I'm um, gonna go in with the black in here and then just fill in the triangles on your eyes and nose Alright, so I want to go ahead and grab a black eyeshadow and set your whole gel liner or face paint, whatever you use, to apply the black so it doesn't smear and move around. Alright guys, now using your uh, eyeliner, I'm going to be using this one by Revlon, my favorite. This one. Um, oh, focus. And I'm going to outline all the little lines right here that I shaded in black to give it more dimension. I don't know. Quickly, I'm going to do this, um, just basically outlining every little line that you have with your um, eyeliner. I'm going to go ahead and do it off camera because my battery is dying and I'm trying to save it. Alright guys, this is what you should be looking like right now. Uh, you see how the eyeliner really makes a difference? And then what you could do is just go back in there and just fill in the little gaps of like little spaces, more dark, more black with a very small brush 
And then right here, right now, you can just fix all the little details that you want with your look. I was going to go ahead, because I kind of smudged a little bit of, or you see how it's glowing right there? That's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to grab this shade right here. Whoa. Focus. This shade right here. Uh, by the way, my nails are crusty and nasty. With a fluffy brush, and I'm just literally going to put it in between the gaps of all the little... Basically, anywhere where there is no orange, that's where this is going to go. Just make it shiny. This color is amazing, by the way. And we're just going to do that because we're going to be a shiny pumpkin. We're going to put that everywhere all right and do you see that like hold on let me just get my camera to focus that is a freaking i am glowing this is sparkly i don't know if you can see it oh you can see it but I'm sparkly, like, this is freaking awesome. Okay, now I'm going to grab a little bit of the Squeeze Me, which is a different shimmery color from the same palette with the same brush. To add some highlights up in here, but with a different color. Probably not much, making much of a difference. So... It's not really doing much, so I'm going to grab the glitter, and there's like, literally, it's just, I give it a focus, it's just glitter. Chunks of glitter. Grab that with my finger. See that? Beautiful. And then just press it on. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, like this. Can you see it? Oh, you can't really tell on camera, but I am, I am sparkling. Like, this is, I'm glowing, okay? And I'm feeling myself now. Um, anyways. Yeah, this is basically the finished eye look. You just want to go ahead and apply some eyelashes. And if you have contacts, you can definitely put some black contacts. I have some. I'm going to attempt to put them on. And if if I can't, then I can't. I just close my eyes like this. But I'll be right back real quick. I'm probably going to change two. And yeah, this is a little bit. So guys, um, this is the finished look. As you can see, I don't have contacts on because my eyes did not want anything to be near them. I struggled, man. I spent like literally half an hour trying to put a contact on and I said, fuck it, because I lost my patience. Um, the contacts I was using, so I don't know if it's just me or is these, um, these are the ones I was using. Um, these are by Chroma View or IFX Lenses. Not sure, but they were in the shade black because I wanted to do like all black. But I couldn't get it in. And the freaking, the contact was like super, like just, it wasn't working for me. And there you go. That's, this is, I just put on a black shirt because I don't know what to wear. And I got my chains on that. I love, I love these necklaces. And yeah, guys, this, this is a completed, finished, jack-o'-lantern-inspired makeup look. I'm a pumpkin. My hair is still wet, guys. Look at that. Freaking 
just just go like this just go out like this looking like this don't even don't even brush your hair just... no draw with me i should have painted this black right here because now it's bothering me but yeah then uh, like you guys I was crying from how like my makeup smeared because I was like crying trying to put those contact lenses on but yeah um I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will see you guys next week or maybe I might be posting two videos this week just because I, I don't know if you guys noticed or not but I was gone for like two weeks I have not posted anything uh, in the past two weeks and I'm sorry but yeah so I might be posting two videos this week and next week just to make up for that. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, stay safe. Bye. Look how white my teeth look though. Flex. Ooh. Do vampire teeth next time. Bye.